Hey guys, it's uh, it's Carl. Another video, um, something a little different this time. Like I said, I'll try and teach you things that I know that might help. Um, also, hopefully, I can get some knowledge from you guys when uh, when I need help. We're all out to make money and help each other. I hope so. Uh, anyway, yeah. Well, this is a bit of an interesting item. We um, always see people saying, "Buy outside your comfort zone, learn about it." And you know, the more knowledge you have, the more money you can make. The more you learn, the more you earn. So um, we picked this up the other day, which is a China coffee pot, teapot thing. Um, it's actually in excellent condition. There's uh, there's no marks or chips or anything. It's uh, it's very clean. Now on the bottom, you can see Enoch Woods English Scenery Woodsware Woods and Sons England. Uh, the important thing is there's no other writing underneath Woods and Sons England at the bottom. Um, and also, you can do a bit of research to see more what the age can be. Um, obviously, on each side of the urn, you've got Enoch 1784 and Ralph 1750. Um, I didn't think this was from the 1700s because it looks too clean and shiny. But um, it also confirmed that um, when I did do the research that it's not that old. But I'll show you the research I've done. Um, and then some similar listings, um, and then I'll even show you sold listings um, and price and things like that, so we can have a look. Right, I don't know how it's going to work. Um, focus in here. Right, well, here we are, Woods and Sons. Um, now, the one I've got says that on the bottom, Woods and Sons. So we know it's 197 onwards, um, because there's no limited there, although it could be further on, because um, limited from 1910 onwards. So um, scroll down, we can have a little look. They've got lots of different symbols over the years. We've got there, uh, Enoch Woods, English Scenery, um, Woods and Sons, England. Now this is the same, this one here is the, uh, is the mark that's on the base of, uh, of our one. Um, it's got here, it's the pattern name, this mark appears with different pattern names. Note, on each side of the urn mark appears Enoch 1784 and Ralph 1715, despite these dates, this ware does not date from the 1700s, which confirmed it for me anyway. Um, it did look a bit new. Uh, but also, something to be aware of, note, be careful, a similar mark was used 1960 plus. The 1960 mark has such words as detergent proof, colours under the glaze, resistant to acid, alkali, and similar. Now, uh, this one obviously hasn't got that. So, we've got a good idea now that it's from... Um, between 1907, 1907 up to 1960. So we've got a rough date. I think it could be uh, could be quite valuable. Let's uh, let's go and have a look on eBay. Now, current ones listed. There's two that are the same. You can see here: twelve pound fifty, no bids; six pound fifty postage, and then there's one for twenty five pounds, free postage. Um, they're the only two that are currently listed that are the same. Um, if we go on to this one, I'll try not to uh, show their name just because it's not really fair. Although, you know, they're decent. Um, but yeah, this one, there's only three photographs. And uh, I can't quite make out the bottom's very blurry. But it looks like it hasn't got the um, hasn't got any other writing. It's just got the Woods and Sons England uh, from what I can make out. But the uh, there's only three photos. They're quite dark. You always, you always hear people saying, you know, make sure the photos are excellent because that's what sells the product. Um, we scroll down, it's got here, it does however have a small nick to the underside base rim, completely undetectable, so yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good one, he says in excellent condition apart from that. Um, some people however do only want perfect items, so um, we close that, I have a look at the other one, now this one's up for £25, buy it now, um, now they use this template which is a lot of photos, excellent photographs. Um, you know, it's a really nice listing. They've got the same, exactly the same on the bottom, um, with no, none of the extra writing on again. Um, but it does say here, um, it's just got a chip in the rim and a blue mark on the spout, which could be part of the glaze. I think the, uh, the blue marks on the spout is a part of the glaze because there's a couple of mine, minute ones on the one that we've got. And I think they're just like manufacturing perfections or something like that. Um, but it's got a chip in the rim and that could, uh, that could affect it. That could affect whether someone wants it or not. But, this has got uh, a couple of watches, um, so we'll see. They put a chip on one rim. You know, 
is, is a good listing. It's an excellent listing. Good photos, good description and stuff. Um, so that's who I'm competing with. Um, we're looking at £12, £25. We go to sold listings. You can see here that a red one, exactly the same, £65 plus £48 postage. Um, so that's £100, you know, over £100. They got it posted over from the United States. And I did check it. It was, it was to the to the UK. So someone in England paid a hundred pounds. Um, there's also a blue one, which only went for two ninety nine, and that was one bid. So it sort of does back up what some people say, and I tend to agree with that. Um, always do buy it now, it, it, unless you're really unsure of the value of something. Then put it up for auction, and people that want it will find it and bid on it. But if you've got a rough idea of what it's worth, then put it up, price it high. Have uh, the best offer enabled, and people can throw offers at you. And you, you know, if you're having a quiet week, you can accept a bit less, or you know, you can sit there and hold tight on your price, or or you can negotiate. Um, I know, I think Tom, the English picker, he's mentioned in one of the videos before that he he barters back and forth a bit with some with a gold bracelet, I think, and uh, and ended up agreeing on a price. And it, it's a good thing to do because you could put it up for auction, and it could end up going. If no one looks at it that week, you know, or even if you do a five day auction, three day auction. You think, oh, a three-day auction, I'll get rid of it quicker, get some quick money in. But if no one looks at it in those few days, you could end up losing it for for, for just a couple of pounds, and, and it could be worth a lot more than that. Uh, but let's look at this one. The item condition is good. This is one that, the blue one that sold for $2.99. Um, now, this is the main thing. I looked at this, and underneath Woods & Sons, England, there's a letter C. Now, it doesn't say, um, if we go back here, it doesn't say anything like here, detergent proof, Colors under the glaze, resistance to acid or alkali. It doesn't say that, but if we go back here, there is the letter C, so that could be, you know, obviously I'm not an expert. I'm just learning about this now. So um, that could be a sign that it's the uh, circa 1960 onwards um, one, and someone obviously doesn't want to pay a lot of money for that for that reason. Um, but it's taken some uh, some nice photographs all around and that. You know, it's a good listen, but perhaps. The, the, the later 1960 onward ones aren't worth as much. Uh, this is the one that sold. It was from America. Um, it's a real good listing. Nice photos, all angles. Um, you can see the bottom is... Oh, I'm messing around with, uh, with my mouse now. Now there, you can see the bottom is exactly the same. It's got a bit of crazing on the bottom. Um, our one does have a little bit, but nothing, nothing as bad as that. But this is the uh, the one that's between what 1907 and 1960, uh, from what I can work out. Um, and yeah, that's good listing. Um, good photos, and it's exactly the same as the one we have. So what we're going to do now? I'm thinking right. It's they've sold between three pounds. And a hundred pounds. So it's now. What, what do we? Uh, what do we price it up for? Um, now I'm going to. I thought that was a chip then, but it's just. Uh, I think it's just uh, a small. A small mark. It feels quite smooth still. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's all clean inside. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to list this in a minute. I'm going to take some great photos from what, or hopefully great photos. Um, they might be a little bit dark still. But I'm going to try and do it on a dark background and um, get a real good listing, good description up. Um, I'm going to price it high. I'm going to price it at a hundred pounds. Um, I'll enable best offer, and uh, and then perhaps take a take a lower offer, or we'll see. Um, I'll link to the I'll link to the listing in the comments so you can have a look and maybe even follow it and see see what happens. I'll do you know I will mention it in a video if it sells. Hopefully it will sell. Hopefully we can make a bit of profit. But um, it's just a little something to think about that um, if you're going to be doing doing things that you don't usually um, get involved with. I mean, like I, I know about books and games and things like that. I'm starting to learn about, you know, electronics and that's a little bit. But we want to get good at everything. So, um, yeah, get, get, get your feet in, stick your feet in, get your feet wet and, uh, and see what happens. So um, any comments or questions? Please fire and blow or advice. Definitely, you know, definitely looking to learn. If if anyone's had something like this before, or have some experience selling it, because obviously the sold listing is only for the last three months. Um, but apart from that, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully there's a there's a good outcome to this video. Speak to you all soon. Cheers.